Hi one, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the day the members of parliament in the National Assembly and the Senate managed to impeach together the Shagwan, there is one thing we said here, because we were looking on how things were unfolding so quickly from one stage to another, very correctively, such so that even if you try to challenge it in the court of law, you might not win it. We said here that if this is the same speed that can be applied when members of parliament are passing some of the bills and legislation to serve Kenyans, then we would verify. It was smoothless and so quick. Then, after the Senate managed to you know, upheld the impeachment motion of the National Assembly. You know what followed? Gazette notice, preparation of Victoria Kindiki swearing in, but Gashaga lawyers rushed to the court at Kirugoya. And the High Court gave a conservatory order for a period of time. Then later, the government lawyers battled this matter in the court and pushed for it. And then the three judge bench lifted the conservative order that paved way for Kitsura Kindike's uh, inauguration, not inauguration, actually, swearing in. In a span of 30 minutes, more than five Gazette notices were issued, and we shared there all of them. That was in the middle of the night. Everything has been put in a place. Preparation at KICC for swearing in of Kithurek Ndiki. Then the following morning at 10 a.m., Kithurek Ndiki was taking the oath of office. Ikifika Zasaba Omemaliza. That was the kind of speed we saw. And we said if this is the way the members of parliament and the executive can you know, work, then we will be very far. So today, together Gashagwa got a chance to address mourners in our funeral in Mount Kenya region. And they went straight to address two individuals. Number one, President William Samoy Ruto. Number two, the legislators. That means National Assembly members and the senators. His quest is that they have to work for Kenyans. They are going to give William Ruto a free space to deliver to Kenyan people. But he's asking members of parliament, we have had some bills that have been, you know, uh, derailed in the National Assembly, some which even touch on farmers in Mount Kenya, the coffee farmers. A bill that was sponsored in 2023, we are in 2024, nothing has happened. Is asking them to use the same speed that they used to remove him at the night to deliver for farmers and Kenyans at large. That is regarding the Shabwa. Nata Bwanande Wajiru Amesema, Nata Raiza Tunashida Nae, Sisi Unajua Tunataka Tumpati Anafasi. Yo Meakatatu, Zile Ahadi Alipea Nafanyani, Atimisa Sindio. Diyo arudi kwetu tena, zindiyo? So, kila mtu wapewa nafasi yake, afanya kazi yake. Kwa sababu, sisi tulitoa hadi mingi sana. Na mimi ni najivunia ya kwamba katika kazi raisa linipea ya kahawa. Tulifanya kazi kubwa sana, ya kulete reforms, na coffee bill 2023, iko katika bunge la kitaifa, na tulifanya kazi sana na zeneta morango, na sherina wengine muongeleshe hawa ile speed walitumia kunitoa watumie hiyo speed kupitisha hiyo bia bila ya kahawa ipitishwe na usiku yako kwa Kenya gazeti na asubuhi rais apelekewe ameke nini si ya kunitoa ilikuwa haraka sana hii ya kahawa imekaa mwaka moja sasa tunataka kuwauliza wabunge wetu hasa wale wametoka hapa kwa mlima Kenya pale kwa kahawa the same speed and efficiency 
that you displayed in the National Assembly to impeach Ricardo Gachagua, use the same speed and efficiency to pass the coffee bill 2023 to become law. Use the same speed to pass the cooperative law bill of 2023. Now we are continuing with this particular discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, Samase, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. And as of late, I've seen more subscribers have increased. I'm so impressed with this. So I use this opportunity to welcome the new subscribers to Story Pipeline. Before I forget, I have been running a program here to help a church raise funds so that they, so that they can finish a church uh, building. This church started their construction of a new church building because they have been in a muddy church, but they want a change. So they started the, uh, the foundation, then they reached somewhere near the Linton, Wakakwama. And so I went there to help them to finish this construction or push it somewhere. And I managed to fix the beams for the church, that's the Lindo, so that at least uh, this church in other kwa nazile nguvu ukuta isi anguke. So the Lindo is already fixed. Then I also went more uh, further step to get them 150 pieces of frames. Kwa andaka frame miyamoja msini. I delivered for them. The only remaining thing is the iron sheets. They need about 75 pieces of iron sheets in order for them to roof this church completely. So my own grandmother is a member of this church. By then she's 88 years old. And she asked me, why can't you talk to your friends to help us? Because now we are stuck here. I don't see us moving with the speed that we needed to get out of the old church. Because even now the iron sheets are too much old. So I said, okay, well, good, yeah? and they will do something. So my own grandmother is here requesting for your support to help them um, finish this church building by supporting the uh, purchasing of the new iron sheets. Hi guys, now today I'm here with my grandmother and uh, I've been visiting their church. She has been really requesting me to try and help so that they can finish the construction of this church. Kuna vile wamekwama. So, leo nikasema nitakuja nimwambia ongea na nyinyi ili na nyinyi pia msikie kama mnaweza guzwa pia mwasaidie ili waweza kuweka roofing kwa hii kanisa. Tumejaribu sana, nimejaribu tumeweka nimejaribu kuweka linde ile kwa and pia tumeenda tu pia tukapata frames na nyenye nataka fix but they don't have iron sheets na hawana pia milango na matirisha so ningependa pia ya wasalamia awambie majina yake alafu pia waambie mwenyewe unaweza kufanya aitwa Enis Tehema na wewe ni mchukuu wangu mwambie aongee na nyinyi marafiki yake mtusaidie kanisa kujenga na mapato hakuna mapato kama mtusaidie tutaomba Mungu amfariki now if you are in a position to help you can do so by sending in your support through the mpesa number 0708340092 that's my number charles enangugwa Whatever I will receive here, I will get to hardware and buy the iron sheet and deliver it to the church. And I will share that information with you. As of now, we have managed to uh, uh, get 28,600 Kenyan shillings from you guys who have been able to send. And I know more people are going, on, uh, are going to send in. Some have called me and promised that they will soon send in their contribution. And uh, I'm so grateful to everyone who have been able to help. Nimeona some people saying in the comment section we need more schools and not churches. They might be right, 
But I can tell you, Maranatha Faith Assembly is one of the churches here that have also embraced education and they have several schools. They put up a school and even some, it has been through donation, then they hand it over to the government. So they are also embracing education. I can mention a number of schools they have done. So they understand all this. I want to thank the following people for their support that I've already sent in. These are the names that I do not mention earlier and I will be mentioning one name because the identity of my subscribers should be protected. Duncan, Elizabeth, Macharia, Olo, Meshak, Margaret, Mganda, Veronica, Karuku, D, Raymond, and Sarah, Alice, Mwangi, Mishila, the way. Thank you so much and let us keep on doing so. Now let us go back to our discussion. <clears throat> There's one thing I've heard from Rikata Kashagwa that he will be giving William Ruto the space to operate undisrupted. That is Kashagwa. So Kashagwa, in other words, is saying that he will not be here to uh, maybe keep on fighting, maybe in the courts, about his case. I don't know if it is the right thing. Because the Shaka can fight the case in the court, even up to the Supreme Court, to overturn a decision that had been made. This doesn't mean that they will return Kashagwa as the deputy president. No judge can do that. But they can just rule that the impeachment maybe uh, was uh, null and void. With that one, they can clear Gashagwa's name to vie for an elective seat or get employed. 2027 is coming. He can be there. So, if he don't fight for this, it means Gashagwa will stay at home for 10 good years without buying for any seat or even getting appointed to serve in any capacity in any government office. But the real matter here is that he is telling the people that we want them to work for the people of Kenya. We have seen how they have been able to impeach me. The speed in which they used the Muliona word. Indeed, what the Shagwa is saying is true. We've had so many legislative bills that have not been, you know, uh, passed from a bill to an act of parliament which is a law so that it can be used to govern. They got to pending. But we never let a Shagwa. Members of parliament were viable to impeach him. They were mobilized. So I don't know where the majority leader and the majority whip together with the minority leader and minority whip always normally do when it comes to having enough numbers of members of parliament to legislate on matters that matter to Kenyans. I have seen the Speaker of National Assembly, including even the Speaker of the Senate, you know, uh, calling off as a, a you know, a house proceeding simply because they do not have a quorum to listen on some of the matters. Like if he were in Patikana, what in their numbers? So look at that. When it comes to the matter that matters to them, they come and work for it. But when it comes to the issue that is touching our lives, Mamba ya kofi, wakulima wa majani, na kahawa, na mamba mengine, they are being affected in one way or another. This is not to affect them. They normally delay these bills. But this one, because it's touching on them, they have worked for it timely. The Shagwa is setting them against the electorate. If you can yao on spot, timely. Lakini mambo ya nyanaguza wa Kenya, ambaoni wanainchi watu wa ushuru, wanawa pigia watu kura, they don't care. They sluggish. 
that's the reality. So what Kashaka can do is to join some of us in oversighting this government. We don't need to support the government. We just need to look for the failures of the government and point out. We don't need to glorify them. But at least oversight the government. Simple as that. I think that might be the route that he might be taking going forward. I don't know your views, but let us put in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.